All right, people, so here is the deck profile for ABC. So this deck was strong. It was strong, it was fun. You know, it could probably take both the tag partner, uh, tag partners, your opponents at the same time. It was just an awesome deck. And uh, as you can see, it's really tight, but the plays are there. So we'll go ahead and uh, get to the deck profile. So we run 3A, 3B, 2C. Uh, a is good because it goes ahead and uh, just if it's sent from the field of graveyard, add a union monster from the graveyard to your hand, that's fine. If this one is sent from the field of graveyard, you add a union monster from your hand to, I mean, from depth to hand, that's good. This one's kind of eh. All you do is stretch on a union monster from your hand. That's eh. eh. But they're all great. Uh, they're much better than, you know, their counterparts, the XY, XYZ. And, uh, you know, with ABC being able to go ahead and banish them from the graveyard to summon, it's just so great. Uh, then I ran two Machina Gear Frame with the Three Fortress because it's a Union deck and, you know, I, and mostly Machine deck. You can't run, I feel like I, I love Machina Fortress and Gear Frame. They're just so great. You just throw them in any Machine deck and they, they just do work. Like, you can't you can't argue that. Uh, uh, three Galaxy Soldier. Uh, not only is it Galaxy Soldier because I can send a light, which means I can pitch these guys together in the graveyard. So I'm in a Galaxy Soldier, get a search for Galaxy Soldier. Plus I'm in a Galaxy Soldier if I pitch you one of these, go into Nova, go into Infinity, blah. But then also transmodifier right here, so I'll go more in detail about that. And of course, two Gemini Garnets, so we can go into Miss Broken over here, Gemini Seraphonite. Uh, she should be banned. I mean, simple as that. Uh, because this deck takes advantage of it too. It's it. I mean, forget it. Go ahead, Brilliant Fusion. Summon, uh, you know, gar send Garnets, send one of my, uh, one of these guys. It's in the graveyard to banish for ABC. Get additional normal summon. Go ahead and summon like Gearframe. Get a third summon. You know, Salt Cord with my Union Hanger. You know, quit search and get you know search and activate it. Equip it. So that's good too. It's, just, it's all good. It's all good. So, yep. That's a, that's another OP play. So Seth, you might need to go away. Like something like monsters and the additional normal summon. You might need to go away. So, uh, so that's all the monsters. It's really all you need. Then uh, one Regaki because. Regeki, you know, I, I generally play Regeki more in tag because I like the opportunity to draw and blow one, it's at least blow one of the tag partners out of the water makes it do a lot easier. Uh, then Triple Terraform because Union Hanger is so good. Activated, add a Light Machine Union Monster from deck to hand. Then if you normal summon a special Light Machine Monster, you can go ahead and equip that Union Monster with another Union Monster from your deck with a different name. So pretty much you can just go like, all right, activate Union Hanger, search for A, summon A, equip A with B. That's already two of them right there. Like, it's so good, so good, so good. So definitely triple terraforming with the triple Union Hanger. And if I want to, and I'm running multiple terraformers, I draw in another Union Hanger terraform, I can just switch it out, activate another one, and then get another search. So it's all good. It's just, mm, mm. That, that, this is how you make Union Monsters good right here. But of course, triple turn search below the back row, lay. Uh, triple Brilliant Fusion. Tri I go I generally when I play Brilliant Fusion, I go two. I mean three of the Brilliant Fusion, then two of the whatever the Gemini is. Because even if I draw one of them, at least you know this is won't be bad. Because if you only play one and then three, then if you draw this, then three cards in your deck are dead. So uh, then triple Insta Fusion because uh, even though I only have two targets, you could probably up it. You could probably run another Panzer, but really I just want to see it. You know that's the reason why you could probably cut this down to two and then you know run something in place of it too. It's really it's just Norton and Panzer and Dragon. I'm only doing one Infinity, one Nova because the deck track's kind of tight. You could probably take out the Durandal, play another Nova Infinity or something along those lines. The Pleiades are the Sukiyomi. Uh, I would definitely recommend running another APC though because you know when he tributes himself, you can easily run out of ABC. So it might be just you have to be safe on three. I generally run two Sephirite just in case I summon her twice, but you could probably drop her down to one as well. Uh, then the Shalom Brigade, three strike one morning. Nothing to say about that. Uh, Pleadies, of course, focus source. You could probably go throw in a guy chart. There's a lot of things you could fix with this after that. Uh, Gear God next. I don't think I summoned him the entire month, but you know, he searches him in level four machine. Uh, so he does his job. Castell, course, dweller. So yeah, I could probably say you could probably take this out, this out. Uh, you could probably drop this down to one because really you just want to you just want to see brilliant fusion. Like that's it, brilliant fusion. You want to make sure that you don't clog with your garnet. Bust this out. Send one of your monsters. So you probably don't need to do it twice. Up this to three. Uh, you can up this to two if you want to, just to make sure this. You can throw in another Nova, throw in another Affinity, throw in a Guided Charger. Uh, you, you probably you don't have to have this. It's eh, that's okay. It's okay. You don't make too many rank fours like that, so. Nah, so you could probably take this out. I'd probably run another Nova, another Infinity, uh, another Panzer, and another Dragon Buster. So that's what I would change it if I would change it now. So uh, there you go. Short little deck profile for ABC. It's, it's a very strong deck. I can I can easily see see this deck doing some topping in OCG and maybe TCG when it comes out here because it's just so good. It's just it's so easy to summon out freaking Dragon Buster and its effect is so good. Banish uh, 
A player's turn, you can discard a card, banish, uh, target a card in the field, banish it during either player's turn. That's great. Tribute it to summon all back all your uh, light machine marshes. You can banish to summon it with your four fills to go off. You get to go ahead and equip to one of them, so that's good too. Then sent to the graveyard, you get your rearing effects, and that's good. Then when they're destroyed, they get back to the graveyard, just to be banished again, just summon another ABC and get more set up. So it's just great. And it, of course, hops out the way, and it's a good event. So. So it's all good. It's all good. I enjoyed my time with ABC, and uh, you know, in place of it, we have uh, uh, the Electromagnetic Warriors, and you know, they're just as good. Like for goodness' sake, it seems like anything that freaking you gear Kaiba wiped their butts on, they got some new change, some new support, and God, it's just all. It's all good. It's all good. They already knew they wanted to make Yuki and Kaiba shit great. So there you go. So done with the deck profile. Short one. So of course, another deck profile. Be back tomorrow. I'll uh, give you guys a deck profile for Pure Kaiju, and I will be playing uh, Crystal Beast Pendulum. You guys voted on that, so I'm going to have Forever Epic join me and you know, teach me the, and show me the routes. Because apparently the deck is really strong, and it's freaking Crystal Beast, so we'll see. We'll see. You guys voted on it. I bet you guys are curious, so let's find out. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile.